Hi guys, this is Anderson from New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal Full Albums. If you follow the channel for a long time, you probably already seen one of my metal mailbox videos where I show things I receive from labels and bands. It's been a long time since I released one of those videos and even the latest ones I only put out because I would receive something from a label or band and the guys would request a video. I know I've been neglecting this part of the channel for a long time, but the fact is that I'm, I'm missing it. I miss show you the things that I received and maybe encourage you to buy them. Because this is my mission here on the channel, is to encourage you to buy stuff to keep the metal scene going. I even received a message on Instagram from a guy telling me that uh, I'm doing bad things for his wallet every time I post something. And I said, that's the intention. So I picked up some things I received from the beginning of this year to now. It's not all the stuff, it's only some things I uh, selected and I will show them to you. And the first one is a book. It's the Snake Pit Archives Volume 1. This was put together by uh, Cult Metal Classics, Sony Cage Records. They got the five first issues of the Snake Pit magazine. It was a magazine fanzine that was around during the 90s. And you have here like it's the original format of the magazine, the interviews and special articles. And if you like have metal straight, if you if you can't be satisfied with only listening to heavy metal and you want to immerse yourself in the heavy metal culture, this is something that's recommended for you. It's nice to see like the opinions and what people were living during the 90s the first issue is from 1997 and then you go through 1998 you see like how important were like releases hammerfall glory to the brave rhapsody uh, legendary tales and how they were viewed at the time compared to what how they are viewed now for some people so this is very interesting, Snake Pit Archives, Volume 1. And this book comes together with an uh, exclusive Jack Penser 7-inch. I don't know if you still can buy it or if it's sold out already, but if you can buy it, I would recommend it. Other thing, I got also a book was from my friend Pascal, the Rascal, and the book Made in France. It's like a archive of all, I don't, I don't know if I can say all, but most of the bands, uh, heavy metal bands from France. So it's like, if you like heavy metal, you probably know the Metal Archives website, Encyclopedia Metallo. So this is like the same, but in book format for French bands. And you also have a like an extra book. It's called Made in France, the best of. It's in French and in English. And you have like interviews and articles about uh, French metal and also uh, some pictures so this one is a nice source to know about metal bands from France so now I go to the records and I will show you first the vinyl this one were, was one of the most recent I got it's back out the anthology in 1998 1990 83 to 85 and this one is a band from the Netherlands and it's a reissue by Headbangers Records Back Out The Anthology I also got this split by Prelude to Ruin and White Magician featuring also the Great Kaiser's White Magician. They are two different bands. 
So I got this LP. Uh, it's like a split 12 inch. And you have like the the booklet is very nice. It's, uh, it simulates like a, a tome. I got also X Crazy Ride on the Night. It's a band from Poland and they sent me this. This is I think their first full length and they released a, a new one called Hexbreaker a few months ago. And I got this from uh, Zack Slaughter. It is School Fist, School Fist Heavier Than Metal, the EP. I got this because I helped him do like a reaction video to new bands of, of heavy metal. He asked me for a list and I sent him the list of bands and he reacted to them. It's a very <laughs> funny video and you can watch it, I think, on his YouTube channel and also on Twitch. Now let's go to the CDs from uh, classic metal bands. And I got this Bad Abbott. It's a hard rock band from Tilburg in the Netherlands. It's the Demo Ears 1986, 1991. And I got this also from Headbangers Records. It's a reissue by them. If you like heavy metal, from the Netherlands from the 80s and you like to know more obscure bands you better watch Headbangers Records because they are doing a great job to finding these uh, more obscure bands this is Valium Pesadelo Real Anthology 1985 to 1988 this is a band from Portugal I got this from my friend André from Lost Realm Records I went to his house, I bought some things from his distro, from his distro and he gave me this album. After that, the band changed name to Casablanca and released one of the best albums from Portuguese heavy metal in 1990 called Tanto. And I, I am pestering him to try to reissue this album. I got this of from the band this siren up from the depths is a collection with most of the releases stemming from 1984 until 2018 i also got a promo from their new album but it's a promo i couldn't find it here somewhere i'm sorry so siren up from the depths this is untamed from the united states this is actually the volume 5 of the uh, Untouched series by No Dust Records. If you are following my videos, you probably know about this series. And they released like, I think, three bands from the Netherlands and two bands from the USA. This is a great series of uh, old school heavy metal. The name of the series is Untouched because it features previously unreleased uh, material only. I got this one from Cut Metal Classics and it's a, a classic album, Screamer, Target Earth is very recommended for people who like Queensryche and Fates Warning, Little. so if you like this kind of progressive heavy metal from the 80s, this one is for you. Okay, these last two I got from Dystopian Dogs, the same label who gave me the Prelude to Rumi and White Magician Split. And the guy who runs Dystopian Dogs, he's Victor Ruiz. He also plays in Prelude to Rumi. He told me to choose any album from his distro, any two titles from his distro. And I settled for these two. It's Mother's Ruin. Road to Ruin, it's a new wave of British heavy metal band and this album was released by Cult Metal Classics and this other one is Blackout, Ignorance of Man, this is US power metal and this album was released by Arkane Steel Records
now it's time to show you the new wave of traditional heavy metal bands. And the first one is Adamantis, Far Flung Realm. These guys just released this album. It's a new, brand new. It's they are from the United States, but they play like European power metal. And I am proud to have this on my channel. I got an interview with the guys. They are really nice people and they have something here. They are very promising. Adamantis, Far Flung Realm. This one is Steel Arctus from Greece. I just posted this on the channel this week and it's getting a lot of attention. It's epic power metal like the Greeks know how to do well. Steel Arctus. This one also has been um, a success on the channel. People are liking them so much and I'm talking about Centurion. This is the self-titled self album from 2019 and they sing in Serbian. This is something that you notice. And despite that, people on the channel, on the comments, who are always like, uh, you have to sing in English and stuff, so, so, they are saying that even not understanding a word, this is very good. So you have to check this out, Centurion. Uh, Blizzard, Words in Chains, this is the follow up from their album Genesis Reverse, great band from the from Germany. I got two albums by Hyperion from Italy, this is the first one, Dangerous Day, and this is their new one, it's Into the Maelstrom. I got this album from Cryptus. Afterburner, uh, they are from India, one of the premier bands from India, and it's an AFM Records release, and I'm so glad that I finally was able to have one of their albums on the channel. Um, in the beginning of pandemic, I featured Screamer on my channel. They did a live stream, a live show, and it was great many people following it and many people liking it and because of that because they were kind enough to send me their album the highway of heroes so they sent me a european version signed and they also sent me a japanese version so it's blue and red i got this band also love and war they are from the United States, it's also signed. This was a nice discovery for me when I listened for the first time. I knew I had to have it on the channel. Divine Whip, The Omega Man. This is the new album by Divine Whip. I also have one of their, the albums from 2015 on the channel. And this one is a Polish band. I just released an, a lyric video for them. Aero Screamer from Spain. This is their first EP, Cast the Fire. The next one is Steel Witch from Greece. I got this from Cult Metal Classics as well. And they are a duo. And they play like, if you think that new wave of traditional heavy metal has a specific sound to it, this is it. Next one is Echo Soul. I got this from No Dust Records. And this is a band from the United States. It's American uh, heavy metal with uh, Ripper Owens on vocals and also Hob Lundrigan on vocals. He's a great singer, also known for doing like YouTube covers. If you watch this kind of videos on YouTube, you probably know him. It's Darklon, Rise from Death. From Greece as well, I got this from Kostas Krasonis, he's in the band and he gave me this when I went to the Up the Hammers festival that didn't happen because of the pandemic. This is Crow Keeper, Out to the Fair. 
this is the first full length I think I also have some of their EP here this is from the United States great heavy metal this is Toledo Steel it's the first strike of steel it's like a anthology from their early years it's featuring their first demo from 2013 and their EP from 2015 so Toledo Steel I got this Thunderson it's a one-man project from Finland and it's available on the channel for you to listen this is uh, it's I can say the same I said for Steel Witch this is totally new wave of tradition I have metal if you are one of those who think that the new wave of tradition have metal has to follow a specific sound and I don't think that <laughs> next one is Cobra Spell Love Venom this is an EP by a new band formed by uh, Alex Penza from Hitten, Sebastian Silva from Idle Hands and Sonia Anubis she was in uh, Burning Witch and also now in Crypta. This is uh, strongly recommended for fans of Dokken. Um, School Fist, Heavy on the Metal. This is the same thing that happened with the LP I got from Zack Slaughter after I helped him do the react video to new heavy metal bands. This is Judge Minus from Switzerland. It's power trash metal, like uh, for fans of Iced Earth. And the last one is Neuron Spoiler. This is from the UK. This is their new album, Spoiled for Choice. And it's being uh, produced by Fleming Rasmussen from the Metallica albums. And mixed and mastered by Charlie Balfind so this is a great album I feature like uh, one of I featured the album on the channel as well and this is uh, a video for Angel of Britannia I also have two t-shirts to show you just a moment the first one is uh, from Centurion the band from Serbia I told you you have to check it out and the other one is Silent Storm. I feature uh, the first single from their new album. It's coming out and when it comes, will be on the channel. This was it, guys. Thank you so much. Like I said, I will have uh, special videos for No Remorse, Cruz del Sur uh, and Gates of Red Records and Dying Victims Productions in the next, next few days. I'm also expecting new package from No Remorse Records, Metal on Metal Records, and Fighter Records. So when they arrive here, we're going to have uh, new videos for you. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys like the Metal Mailbox.